Mental Math Tricks for Addition, I'm going to show you how to make compatible numbers using the compensation method. Mental Math is math we calculate in our head without paper and pencil. One method is to compensate one add-end from another add-end to make compatible numbers. To compensate means to pay or give. If you mowed my lawn, I would compensate you with money. We can compensate an add-end with ones from another add-end to make a 10. For adding 9 plus 6, we break apart the 6 into a 1 and 5 in our head, and we think that the 9 plus 1 will make a 10, and then we add the 5. We think 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. We take 1 from the 6, give it to the 9 to make a 10, and then we add the 5, and we do it all in our head. If we need to add 18 plus 7 in our head, we think to ourselves that 18 only needs 2 more to be a 20. We break the 7 apart as a 2 plus 5. We take that 2 and give it to the 18 to make a 20 and think, now we just need to add the 5. We add 20 plus 5 and have 25. We give 2 to the 18 to make a 20, then add the rest. We add the 5. If we want to add 198 plus 57 in our head, we think 198 needs two more to be 200. We take two from the 57 by breaking it apart into a two and a 55, and we think in our head 198 plus that two gives us 200. Now we just add the 55, it's equal to 255. We give two to the 198 to make it a 200, Easy number to add, 200 plus 55 equals 255. Here's an easier one. If we need to add 39 plus 11, we think in our head the 11 is a 1 plus 10. 39 only needs 1 to be 40. We add 39 plus 1, we get our 40, and we add the 10 left over. We give 1 to the 39 to make it a 40, and then just add that extra 10. It's equal to 50. If we need to add 179 plus 11, we break the 11 apart into a 1 plus 10 and give that 1 to the 179 to make it a 180 and add the 10. We could do that in our head without pencil and paper. If we're careful, we can use mental math to add more than two add-ins. We can add three add-ins. If we have 38 plus 32 plus 24, we remember that 8 plus 2 will make a 10. We break the 32 into a 2 plus 30 and give that 2 to the 38. That makes it a 40. Now, we just have 30 left over from that. We add the 40 plus 30, which is easy, that's 70. And then, in our head, we add the two tens and four ones to it. We have 70 plus 24, that's 94. Now, in this equation, we have 14 plus 29. 14 is a 13 plus 1. 29 only needs that 1 to be a 30. Then, we can add the 13 plus 30 in our head. That's 43. The order of the add-ins doesn't matter. We give to the add-in that is easiest to make 10, or to make the next 10. In this case, it would be we'd be making three tens with the 29 and the 1. Memorizing addition facts that equal 10 will help you go faster. If you know by heart that 1 plus 9 is 10, 2 plus 8 is 10, 3 plus 7 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, doesn't matter if it's 1 plus 9 or 9 plus 1. If you know that those equal 10 really fast in your head, it'll make you go faster. Here's another example. We're going to add 43 plus 19. This 19 only needs 1 to be a 20. We can take 1 from the 43 and make it a 42, and think 42 plus 20. We do it in our head, 
42 plus 20 is equal to 62. Here we have 55 plus 45. We think, well, this 45 needs 5 more to be a 50. Then we'll have 50 plus 50. That equals 100. We give 5 to the 45 to make it a 50, and then we very easily add 50 plus 50 in our head, which is equal to 100. If we want to add 995 plus 37 in our head, we think that 995 only needs 5 more to become 1,000. We take that 5 from the 37 by breaking it into a 5 plus a 32. Now we have 1,000 plus 32. We give 5 to the 995 to make it 1,000, and we add what's left over, the 32. It's equal to 1,032. We break apart one of the add-ends to give some ones to the other add-end to make mental math easier. If we need to add 8 plus 7, we think, well, 8 only needs 2 more to be a 10. If we break the 7 into a 2 plus 5, we can now think 10 plus 5, which is equal to 15. If we need to mentally add 58 plus 39, we think, well, 39 only needs one more to be a 40. We can take it from the 58 by breaking it into a 57 plus 1. Now, we have 57 plus 40 in our head. That would be 5 tens, and 4 tens is 9 tens, and 7 ones. That would be 97. If we need to add 16 plus 49 in our head, we think 49 only needs one more to be a 50. We break the 16 apart into a 15 plus a 1 in our head, give that 1 to the 49 to make a 50, and add what was left over. We have 15 plus 50. That's easy to add. That's equal to 65. In our next lesson, we're going to learn how to do mental math for addition using multiples of 25. We're going to think coins and money to help us add mentally. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye!